Maggie, 2015, directed by Henry Hobson, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, Abigail Breslin, and Jolie Richardson. As a virus tears the world apart and turns people into flesh-eating zombies, one man brings his infected daughter home to see after her final days among the living. This film was recommended by longtime friend of the channel Court during an episode of our podcast last year. Thanks for the suggestion. I'm honestly shocked I hadn't heard of this one sooner. I mean, you'd think Arnold Schwarzenegger's zombie film would show up on a lot more radars. One of the challenges with a genre with as much longevity as zombie films is trying to bring something new to the table. This film successfully focuses on being a slow burner about a family coming to terms with a loved one becoming infected, which was new and refreshing. If you're coming into this expecting a Romero-style shotgun symphony, I'm afraid you're going to be gravely disappointed. There's only a couple of scenes with fully turned zombies in this film, simply establishing that the threat is real and the outcome isn't good. The cast nails their performances in the film, with Schwarzenegger carrying the film as a father in a tragically hopeless situation, with a surprising tenderness and subtlety and Abigail Breslin effectively conveying the woeful journey of a teenager losing her humanity, and the life she never got to live to the incurable virus that she's infected with. Everything about this film is very subdued and doesn't try to be any bigger than it needs to be to tell a story. The pacing is slow, the establishing shots of societal collapse are extremely brief, the makeup is subtle but effective, and the film is extremely atmospheric and grants the viewer an opportunity to drink the scenario in without needing to look over their shoulder. David Wingo's score fits the film perfectly, with hauntingly melancholy notes quietly ringing out as the film progresses. One of the problems the film has is it's a bit too dark, as in physically. It's not as bad as some other recent films I've seen, but I had to turn the brightness all the way up because some nighttime scenes were hard to make out. Verdict recommended. A zombie film for those seeking something a little different. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time another thrilling low-budget adventure.